Hello and welcome. This is Michelle with Paper Stamp Inc. Just stopping in real quick with some important announcements about what's going on in the Stampin' Up! world. You may know that our annual and occasions catalog are quickly coming to an end. We have about another six weeks before these catalogs will no longer be around. Now, what does that mean? That means a bunch of exciting new stuff is coming in with the new catalog that will be available June 3rd. Until then, we know that we're going to have some items retiring and they will let us know and I will let you know tomorrow. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for a full retirement list. I do have a little teaser of some updates for you of some things that are changing though. So let's go ahead and get started on those. As always, if you are looking to order any products, please stop by my website, paperstampink.com or paperstampinkstampinup.net. Make sure you use that host code when you're placing an order. I sure do appreciate your support. And as a thank you, I will send you a free gift. This month's free gift is a set of the Stampin' Dimensionals. If you've watched my channel, you know I love dimensionals. So let's go ahead and get into those other two quick announcements that are going on. We are going to be retiring the Stampin' Up! trimmer. Now, there will be another trimmer coming, but not for the short term. Stampin' Up! has had some uh, issues with some of the, the production of the blades and some other items with the manufacturer. They're looking at this is a good time to reassess and develop a new stamp or a new trimming platform. Now, rather than rush things and try and get anything into production that isn't exactly perfect, Stampin' Up! chose to wait and we're not sure how long that may be. Maybe with the holiday catalog, I don't know. There might be something coming out then or there might even be an intermittent announcement. But until then, there will not be a Stampin' Up! trimmer. Now, if you already have this trimmer, you're probably wondering what about the blades. So they have ordered in a six month supply of blades that will be available when the retirement list opens up tomorrow. You will be able to order six of those. So go ahead and jump on. Make sure you get enough replacements to last you through. There will also be, if you miss that window, they're going to be getting intermittent shipments through September. So good time to stock up. And if you maintain these and, and take care of your trimmer, I have had great success with these. I don't replace my blades that often, and I do a lot of crafting. So that is one announcement. The other announcement is that we will no longer have a die cutting machine in the catalog. Now that does not mean we will not have dies. Stampin' Up! will have dies. They have had a relationship with a manufacturer, a supplier actually, that dealt with a manufacturer for the die cutting machine and the dies for the last several years. That contract ended and so they're taking an opportunity to reassess and looking at uh, what they may want to do to come out with a new and improved machine. I know when Stampin' Up! does it, they take their time to make sure they get it right, and they're going to come up with something very exciting. But in the meantime, we're still going to have dies. So don't worry, there are going to be dies, and there are some changes with those dies, and I'll be sharing more with you about that in the future. They will still work with your standard die cutting machines, so you don't have to be concerned about that. Stampin' Up! has moved to a relationship going direct to the manufacturer that's going to allow them to have more control over the quality of the product and the production of the product. So I'm excited and looking forward to that. Now we know all the end colors for 1719 are retiring as well as any other color or any other embellishments that have those colors. Cardstock, stampin' pads, uh, ink refills, all of that will be retiring with the 1719 end colors. Now, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I'm hoping you can share with me as well. I want to know what one stamp set from the annual catalog are you hoping does not retire? And what one stamp set from the occasions catalog would you like to see continuing on? So here's my picks. Dandelion Wishes. I hope that this one does not retire from the annual catalog. I have fallen in love with this stamp set. It is so quick and easy to make beautiful cards and I love the beautiful sentiments on there as well. And again, if you've watched me, you know I love a good sentiment stamp set. 
So this is one from the Occasions catalog that I am hoping is going to continue on and be a part of our annual catalog. I think this has just beautiful sentiments in there and they're so uplifting and I have been enjoying creating cards with this set. So regardless whether it carries over or not, this is one for sure I'm going to keep in my inventory. Let me know what stamp sets are you hoping don't retire or carry over from the Occasions catalog. I'd love to hear your comments. In the meantime, don't forget to grab your paper stamps and ink and create something today. Have a great day.